टूडे आवर डिस्कशन इज ऑन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ वर्टिकलिटी ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ड्यूरिंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन हाउ इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन वी डिजाइन द स्ट्रक्चर देन इट हैज सर्टेन लोड्स विच हैज टू बी टेकन डाउन टू द फाउंडेशन लेवल थ्रू देयर कॉलम्स एंड वॉल सिस्टम्स and in general we design the column and wall totally vertical in nature so whatever load comes through its floors goes down to the foundation level shifted from the from where it was started so if it is not in the same line transmitting to the ground and this eccentricity create extra moment to the foundation level and same time extra moment to the column at wall level for what it was not designed it means that ki we have designed the structure for certain prediction of the stress level but is good out of anticipation because we wrongly build the non vertical structures in the some cases we may purposely design the inclined structure also in that case we take these stresses into the account during the design phase itself if it is purposely designed either as a spire aspiration of architecture or functional need of the structure in our life we may have seen some of the structure in our experience this structure is purposely designed so nothing wrong in build the structure like this but safe size and stresses has to be taken in account during the design itself so here purpose is ki what we are designing that has to be built exactly at the site so during the construction it never goes straight to zero zero level it may have certain non verticality but that non verticality has to be zero ideally and least as possible practically which can sustain by the structure so that we say that always in construction in codes also there is certain tolerance limit kept and those tolerance we say that accidental eccentricity for that we design the structure so building has to be built perfectly straight theoretically practically it has to be built with verticality with inclination near to zero means that is negligible in nature so now coming to the why building tilted we may see that this is the tower pisa why it is tilted could be two reasons either is purposely designed or it's badly designed and it start tilting without any construction error also it's called design error and what is the most in nature what we say load where it is going ground and when we are transferring any load to the ground ground acts like a spring it deflect so if we give uniform pressure to the ground then entire settlement will be the uniform and there will be no tilting but suppose in design by ignorance or by mistake this uniform pressure is not maintained if ground under the foundation have uniform pressure and sink equally then there will be no harm to the building but if it starts sinking unequally
like this then in that case additional stresses will be developed within the structural element and same thing will start building develop into the non structural element and my wall and glazing etc may get cracked suppose i have started the my column from the foundation level and put the shuttering which are perfectly like this while putting the shuttering up next level as a human error there is a all possibility that this column get built like this again it may go like this again it may go like this however how it should go it should go perfect vertical this is the ideal scenario this is the real non expected scenario so first thing it is not expected good quality of construction we need the this kind of construction so if it is not good then how do we check and how do we control we control by from day one taking the survey at regular interval then simplest test is plumb test how plumb test is done we drop a plumb from the top and plumb is a small piece of mass hang from the top with a rope so by nature of gravity it falls straight we measure the distances at each floor level and our construction team notify this so this how much <laughs> tolerance is there maximum it should go not beyond 20 to 25 mm in throughout height of the building if any level it go more then it is notified to the structural engineer and based on the instruction either we demolish those portion of the structure and rebuild it up and do all next level effort it is not occurred again and again but we never allowed a non vertical column to be built attached to the already built structure with certain level of overlapping so if anything goes wrong then above shuttering will not able to fix so by using this system framework which we use within the tnt as a policy decision see, to maintain the quality we have to go with the system framework only not go with the normal traditional framework system which protect us for introducing error as a non verticality within the building so now we have understood that the verticality of the building is very very important to transfer the load to the ground safely for which it was designed